<laughs> Fuck, so I don't care how old you are. I don't care. Nice fish. <laughs> Another dock bass. Hi, I'm Bill Lindner, and this is David Rosso. We're uh, professional photographers and videographers. We travel around the country shooting mostly fishing, a little bit of hunting and product photography for many fishing clients primarily, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We get to go to a lot of cool places and meet a lot of very interesting people that are some of the best in the business. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about photography tips today, and um, I'd say that some of the basic things that I would tell somebody about photography to make them a better photographer are very simple. And that is, one of the things is like, when you, you get a fish, most shot, a lot of people shoot fish shots, just like hold them up and boom. It's a posed fish shot and, you know, that's fine, but they're a dime a dozen and you're showing your fish, that's good. But capturing the whole experience of fishing and being out there, I think, is really important and cool. Yeah, that means anything from from netting the fish to landing to eating lunch with your with your family to uh, to boating to running the boat. I mean, just shoot things that are happening that are part of the experience. And of course, the nature things, the sunrises, which everyone usually does, the sunsets, the uh, and you know the loons, the eagles, whatever's happening. Uh, but some of the basics of photography are watching your watching your horizons when you shoot, so that you're not like blocking all of a sudden if you're you're show, shooting somebody that their head doesn't line up right with the horizon. You're either lower or higher than that, so that it it breaks nicely and. There's a rule in photography called the rule of thirds. And that uh, kind of breaks up the shot in three sections, horizontally or vertically. And it gives you elements, foreground, background, something to focus on. And one thing about photography that you need is a, a focal point. So that something is strong in the shot and the other things just lead up to it. And framing stuff with trees or with light, that's all very, very important to photography. Um, one thing, one thing I'd say is the sun to your back, the old rule. That's kind of a good, easy thing to to fall back on. But rules are meant to be broken in photography. Side lighting, back lighting, framing things down so that you get silhouettes. I mean, that's all stuff that can make for some really interesting, cool shots. Um, my. Uh, Photographer and assistant Dave is a tech expert. I mean, he flies the drones, does the Ronins. I mean, he grew up, he's a film student, and has been a huge asset to me. And uh, he will, he's going to talk a little bit about phone photography. The fact that nowadays, how many people carry a DSLR out in the boat? You know, unless you're going to be a profession, try professional things. Uh, yeah, those take and, a lot. Phones, they're easy. And it's pretty much, you can do the same with, I mean, the quality is so high now that it's the same as a camera, but it's all automatic. But the rules still apply. You still got to compose the shot. You still got to get the right lighting. But the quality on these phones are incredible now that you don't have to bring out a big camera. And then you can edit it, everything right there. You can send it off to clients, to friends, whatever. Media. Immediately, and also the editing factor. I mean, these phones have the ability to roll out. I mean, to make beautiful shots and enhance them way, way more than you could just waiting to get this shot and go into Photoshop. I mean, you could go and take these shots and, and immediately and make something dramatic and beautiful, and it's it's amazing. And plus, shooting video slow motion 240 frames a second with the iPhone it's crazy time lapses technology is amazing right Dave yeah. 